Hi everyone, this is Tom with Integral. Today we will dig a bit deeper into chatting with your AI agents. In the previous video, we demonstrated how to build a simple agent in AI Studio. We called it Better Than Ch GPT Chatbot. Uh, we showed how you can make changes to the LLM, the brain of your agent, how to add basic system prompts, and we briefly discovered the user chat module. Today, we will do more advanced chatting with agents. We will use the run agent functionality to chat with the agent as a builder for debugging and performance and accuracy testing. Let's dive in. All right, as always, we start our session on the home screen. By now, the lower part of your home screen should no longer be empty, and you should be able to find the agent we previously worked on, the Better Than ChatGPT chatbot. As shown in the previous tutorial, it is very easy to chat with your agent as a user. Just click the chat button and it will open the agent in the AI Studio chat module, chat with agents. But today we want to chat as a builder. So let's go back to our agent in the visual agent designer. At this point, our agent is still a very basic three node agent. To test the agent, we will use the run agent button at the top of the screen. The agent will take input from the user prompt in the input node and provide an answer in the result box of the output node. Let's try the following. First, go to the settings of the agent input node to enter a user prompt. By default, the user prompt has a simple math calculation, but you can change it to anything you want to properly test your agent. Let's change it to what are fun activities to do in Paris. Now. Hit the Run Agent button and you will see how the Agent Input node takes your question, feeds it to the LLM node, which processes the question and generates a response, and then passes the response to the Agent Output node. The LLM node will show the execution status and the time. To check the response, click on the Output node settings and look for the result box. Check if the response is accurate and if your agent took the system prompt instructions correctly. Now, let's try and make things a bit more interesting. We wanted this agent to be better than ChatGPT, so we'll need to add some more capabilities. Let's add internet search, so our agent can enrich answers with some recent web content. To enable internet search, we need two additional nodes, a Google search node and an additional LLM node that will create a search query based on the response generated by the agent's brain node. So to add nodes to your agent, click the Add Node button on the left side of the top menu, scroll down until you find the Google Search node, add it to your workspace. Next, add an LLM node and name it, for example, Search Query Creator. Once we have added the nodes, we need to tell them how to behave and we need to connect them to each other. So for that, open the settings for the Search Query Creator node and give instructions through the system prompt. In our example, I'm asking the LLM to create a Google search query and to find the top three Google hits from the last three months on this topic. I'm also asking to remain very to the point as LLMs tend to show off on how much they know. There is no system prompt in the Google search node settings, but I will specify that I need three responses by setting the result limit to three. Good. Now let's link it all up. First, connect the brain output to the search query node user prompt. Next, connect the output of the search query creator to the search query input on the Google search node. In the Google search node, click the plus to expand the three result objects 0, 1, and 2 in the output of the search node and also expand each object to access the title, snippet, URL, and domain fields. Now, connect each URL to the agent output node. That's it. Now, when asked a question, our agent will now provide both a concise answer and it will enrich the answer with some relevant URLs. Let's go back to chatting with our agent to see if everything works as planned. So in order to do that, go to the agent input node, enter a question in the user prompt and hit the agent run button. You can now follow how each node processes data in real time. Things have become a little bit more interesting with more action. And when done, go to the agent output node to check the results. If everything works as planned, you can go back to the chat module to try the agent as a user.
That's it for this tutorial. You now know how to interact with your agent as a builder and as a user. And our agent got a bit closer to becoming better than ChatGPT. In our next video, we'll dig into benchmarking, a very powerful tool to find the best agents and test your agent's performance. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for updates. Thank you.